Hey guys, it's David the Animator again, and today I'm going to show you how to get custom actions and expressions on Beyond. Anyways, I just want to say the reason why I'm using a screen recorder. Well, the reason why I use a screen recorder is, well, it is because there is a few things I do want to show you in the video maker that are really like important like i was wanting to show you some examples of them anyways i think we should get this tutorial started right now then so first you need requestly and if you already have it open it if not then go to the chrome web store to get it now what you've got to do is open up requestly when you've opened Requestly, click on the plus button in the top right corner, then click Replace Host, and then it's time for the rule. First, add a name for it and a description which is optional. This must be put and kept in the Replace box. If you remove it, then it won't work. And you use these codes for the width. And see the um, codes that it says Adam? They can be changed to Eve, Rocky, or Bob because of um, the uh, actual well, genders of the characters. For a man, keep it Adam. For a lady, change it to Eve. For a buff character, change it to Rocky, and for a fat character, change it to Bob. And that works for the head, torso, and the pants. But with the head, uh, it only works for the Adam, which is the man character. So just remember that. Then, when you've got one of those codes ready, go to the correct type of character creator and then go to the settings icon and uh, go to randomize character then boom that's it the requestly code has made the character all so basically what I mean is if you use the um, head torso it would remove the legs and then it would be the head and torso and it was the pants it would leave the legs like the trousers and if it's the head and you're using the normal male character creator then the head will just be left and there's others to do too you can also get the torso and the torso pants and basically how to do that well Actually, the good news is, for the um, torso pants, you don't need Requestly. All you need to do is remove all of the parts of the head, because they all are removable, and then you got it. And for the um, torso alone, you need to uh, get the head torso code then do the randomized character and then remove all the removable part of the head and then boom you've got that as well and unfortunately you can only do all of this to one character at a time in order to get custom actions but yeah after that you should have your first character be able to do all of the custom actions yeah so now what you need to do is connect the body parts together so for example you could do all three the head the torso and the pants or you could do like the head torso and then the pants for like different actions and stuff like that this is quite hard though it is really hard to get them all together the head the torso the pants and stuff like that so uh yeah and by the way some actions can be a little bit hard to do and all of that but yeah 
you should be done then when you do all of that. And now let's preview some of those actions we can do. And that's how you get custom actions on Beyond. Now we're going to find out how to get expressions on Beyond. So let's get that started now. Now guys, did you remember that head code? Like the code for the head for Adam? Well, you need to use that for the expressions. So what you got to do is the character you're going to use for your custom expressions, you're gonna have to open the male character creator and then randomize character again and then the head should pop up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the eyes, eyebrows, nose and mouth. They are the parts we'll be using for the expressions. So always get rid of the hair, the face and the ears and it's optional to remove the eyebrows, eyes, nose and mouth but at least keep one of them. At least do that. By the way if you're using a particular character make sure to pick the right assets of the eyes, nose, mouth and eyebrows if you're keeping them in that character to use for the expression. After you do that, save that and then go and open up the male character create again. And then do the whole character you want to use. Just remove the parts of the head that you kept in the other one. And then, and then after that, you go into the video maker and then merge the uh, parts of the head into the character so now you can make custom expressions oh and you're gonna have to try and line them up perfectly I recommend you use the same character just normal without anything removed to just see where you've got to put the parts you kept on the head and here are a few examples of the custom expressions. And there you have it. You now know how to make custom actions and custom expressions on Vyond. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for 9,000 subscribers. That's awesome, man. And I will see you next time.